ever be this. When I think of the farm, I think of mud. I dreamed in brown. Way down in the water. What's up, guys? So we have another Netflix original here called Mudbound. Just got done watching it, so let's check it out. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Mudbound, a Netflix original. I do appreciate it. But before I get into the review, help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Become one of my subscribers. Click that bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and also give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have a, another Netflix original and I remember when these Netflix originals start coming out I was like ah, you know I'm not really too concerned with them you know I just want to go see movies in the theaters and I was wrong because you know they're getting better and better and better and you know this one was pretty decent as well the first one that I reviewed on my channel was Message from the King which came out I think May of this year with Chadwick Boseman but this is the second Netflix original that um, we have coming out it that it came out uh it's been directed by day Rees or day res um i have not seen any of her other films uh she's an african well i don't know if she's african-american or what part of the world she's from she's black um and the when i looked it up the other film that she was a part of was pariah which came out i think in 2011 and what that had to do with, I think it was like um, a young teenager that was a lesbian and as she was adapting to, I guess, her new discovered lifestyle uh, and dealing with the family. You know, there was a lot of ups and downs. Heard nothing but great things about it. And after I've, I've after I seen this right here, Mudbound, that kind of makes me want to go back and watch Pariah. So, you know, if you've seen Pariah, heard anything about it, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. But she is the director. Uh, this movie does star Mary J. Blige. Um, it also stars Jason uh, Mitchell. He was the black guy that played in uh, uh, Kong Skull Island, which came out March this year. And also, of course, straight out of Compton. He was Easy e and he wrecked the hell out of that role. And that is something that made me look forward to this. Uh, also, Garrett Hudlin is in, in this movie, too. And also, uh, what is his name? Jason Clark or whatever. And also the guy that played... Um, he, he was in Breaking Bad or whatever. Uh, he, he played a, a rabid racist in this movie, too. And but, you know, they all did a great job. They all gave pretty decent performances, even Mary J. Blige, the singer. And, you know, and for my particular taste, I'm, you know, I'm not saying that she's a horrible actress, but I'm not going to sit here and say that she's great either. You know, but in this in this movie, um, she did do a great job. What it's about is this. It is. A, this is a period piece that takes place from the years of like, I, I want to say 1939 to 1944, 1945. Uh, of course, that's, you know, happens to do uh, with the World War Two. Of course, we were bombed in uh, from Japan in 1941, uh, you know, up until 1944 um, is when, as far as the war is concerned, where this film covered. Now, you have two families. So you have a white family uh, with Gary Hudlin going off to war. And then you have the black family with Jason Mitchell, his character going off to war. And they going, they're going off to war at the very beginning of the film. And so during the film, you get two stories at one time. You get to see the two men over overseas you know fighting germans but then you get to see the two families going uh back and forth over here you know back in southern mississippi and you know as the two gentlemen come back from war you know they're just trying to get used to um life after the war and of course jason mitchell's character has to do, deal with racism me as a black man african-american a black american um, uh, you know, of course there was a few scenes in here that I, you know, kind of did make me uncomfortable and angry, you know, because, uh, you know, we don't like to see our people just kind of continue to get, I can't talk, excuse me, continue to get disrespected and beat it on. And there is a scene or two, uh, in this movie that you're going to have to deal with, especially at the end. So, um, if that, you know, some of my friends, they, they're just done. They're like, you know what? I'm tired of seeing movies where we getting the ass kicked. I'm, I'm done. Like, I, a friend of mine, she didn't even want to go see Marshall because she was like, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to see no racism crap. I'm sick of it. So, you know, if, if you're one that's just tired of seeing stuff like that and can't handle it anymore, no, I'm no judgment. I'm not judging you at all. I understand. You may want to stay away from this film. It's not, you know, 12 years of slave bad where just keep getting, well, you know, I, well, there is one scene that did make me angry. I kind of wanted to you know, kind of throw the remote at the TV, but I'm just letting you know. So if you can handle stuff like that, 
uh, well, go ahead and watch it. But if you know if you don't like being called nigger and all this stuff here and there, you know this film may not be for you. But uh, early on in the film, it comes in a little over two hours. Uh, it didn't have to be that long to me. And something that turned me off initially at the very beginning of the film is well, something that actually draws me into a movie, into a film is I don't mind narration. I love narration. Uh, it really can set the tone and just kind of get you going from a nice jumping off point to start the movie. But what turned me off initially in this film is I felt that there was just too much narration. It was just too much and it was getting on my nerve. Once a uh, young lady in particular, she was the wife of Jason Clark's character, one of the white guys. Um, I'm sure you've all seen Titanic. And in that movie, um, what is her name? Uh, the woman that played Rose. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I forgot her name. But in that movie, she was narrating at the very beginning of the movie and pretty much for the first hour. And in that movie, it works. It, it flowed well. I liked the pacing. It fit well within the story. You know, it was great. But this character here, when she was narrating at the very beginning of the movie, I started thinking about Titanic. And while it worked in that movie, to me, it did not work in this movie here. And I would just kind of clocked out and was not being able to focus or whatever because when i am watching a movie a film and they're going through the story i want the film to tell the story i don't want the actors to tell me the story you know let me see it develop on its own through your acting i don't want you know i don't want to just see a bunch of characters on screen and there is a voiceover or whatever that you know it, it can work a lot of times but for me that is just something that really just turned me off in this movie and you know just was difficult for me to get on board with and then it wasn't just her character it was all characters i mean you have these two families white and black and then you have these two uh, uh white and black characters overseas as well and every time we got to see them for the first time there was narration and i'm just like man it was just too much so like the first 45 to uh, 45 minutes to an hour in this movie i just kind of felt like the whole thing was an introduction instead of it being like the first 15 to 20 minutes i felt the first 45 minutes to an hour was an introduction and i, I just didn't care um it just really was a hard for me to uh, adapt to this and uh, you know but eventually things did get good and i mean there just really is no story to this as well you just kind of just see a fam well i mean there is but you just kind of see a family on a farm trying to survive and black people continue to get taken advantage of of course yes that did happen decades and decades and decades ago you know but at the same time there wasn't much anything else to it the performances wasn't just phenomenal great you know like oh my god you know they convinced the hell out of me at that scene y'all need to go see this because no it wasn't anything like that but it wasn't bad either i ne and never at one point and i said like oh my gosh this is cringeworthy i can't th these actors and actresses can't act you know um it, it was just decent the cinematography uh could have been a lot better as well um especially at nighttime even in the beginning there was just a lot of scenes to where i was just like what is going on i really can't see you know it, there just wasn't that much light to the scene of course this is taking place outside for the most part but you know i found myself flipping through uh, like the settings on my TV trying to set it, you know, to a nice setting so I can see a nice contrast on screen. And I've never really had to do that before. So that just kind of stood out to me as well. The soundtrack and the score was pretty decent. Um, you know, I, I did a uh, rag on the narrating towards the beginning of this film, but there was a few key scenes where they had some narration between the characters and there was a nice, you know, a uh, score in the background that, you know, added more life to that particular scene. So I did like that, uh, you know, but for the most part, I did kept looking at my phone, like, you know, and pressing pause, you know, asking myself, okay, how much time is left? How much time is left? So I just really didn't love it. Um, but it was cool. Um, as far as the end of the movie, um, you know, the racial tensions do pick up quite a bit uh, for one scene that I talked about earlier that made me angry. Um, there is some uh, semblance of justice that is served. Uh, but at the same time, I was not completely satisfied. Um, nowhere in this film did it say if this is a true story or not. So since it's not a true story, maybe they could have wrote something in there to make me a little bit happier. But at the same time, we don't even get justice today. So it's pretty obvious that we wasn't going to get true justice back. 
um, you know, in 1940, uh, in the 19, early 1940s or whatever. But this is not a bad film, guys. It, it's not. But I'm not going to sit here and say that it was freaking uh, fantastic either. Um, you know, it, it was decent. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say this is something that you have to watch. Um, but at the same time, you know, I mean, you may find some entertainment out of it. And if you have nothing else to do and you like the character that you like the actors and actresses in this film, hey, you may be able to get a lot more enjoyment out of it than I did. Um, if I had to rate Mudbound out of a one out of ten, I would give it a six point five out of ten. Yes, a six point five out of ten. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Mudbound, a Netflix original, or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me a thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel become one of my subscribers also click the bell so you can be notified when i do make uploads you can also go to my website check me out there just my pen.net bookmark it i do have written reviews uh, for films as well i would really appreciate it and guys you can also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff it's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all the stuff good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for mudbound a netflix original starring jason clark garrett Hullin, mary j Blige, and jason mitchell directed by d rays and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace